Hey guys, what is up? Josh Ward here from Edit Video Faster, and welcome to lesson 7 of the Mastering Avid Media Composers Keyboard Shortcut Series. Uh, this lesson is all about the keyboard shortcuts you're going to be using uh, with bins, um, things related to bins. Uh, and we have quite a bit to get into, uh, so let's get into it. Uh, our first keyboard shortcut is how to create a new bin. So if we have our uh, project window, project panel uh, selected, um, we can hit uh, Command if you're on a Mac, Control if you're on a PC, and hit the N key. And when we do that, it's going to create a new bin. Uh, close out of that. Um, so that's how to create a new bin. Uh, how to create a new sequence. So once we have our, once we're inside a bin, we have our bin selected. If I hold down Command if I'm on a Mac, Control if I'm on a PC, and I'm just going to say Command Control for the rest of these shortcuts. So Command or Control, and then the Shift key, and then the N key. That's going to create a new sequence for us. So there we go. That new sequence popped up. And yeah, let's just delete that. Okay, next keyboard shortcut is to select all of our items in a bin. So once again, we have our bin selected. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold down the uh, Command or Control key and hit the A key. That's going to select everything in the bin. Now, if I want to deselect everything, I'm going to hold down Command or Control again, uh, the Shift key, and now hit the A key. That's going to deselect everything in the bin. Okay, next up, uh, closing an active bin. Uh, let's just go to this one here. Uh, and if I hit uh, Command Control and hit the W key, that's going to close that bin that was selected. Um, just show you one more time. Open up the bin, Command or Control, and the W key. That closes your bin. All right, let's duplicate a selected item. So let's uh, take this item here, this one's selected, or you can select multiple items, hit a Command or Control, and hit the D key, and that's going to duplicate it. Um, it's going to duplicate the master clip, um, so these are now two different master clips, um, and you can see this is a, has now a dot copy dot one afterwards, um, and just uh, how master clips relate to media, and in the timeline, that's all for another video, but uh, uh, select an item, Command and Control and the D key, that's going to duplicate it in your bin. Okay, next, uh, grouping clips. And this only is, uh, this is only relevant for multicam. Um, so I don't actually don't have any multicam footage, but you can still uh, group uh, clips together without it. So uh, let's just select a couple of these guys. Uh, and if I hit uh, Command or Control, the Shift key, and the G key, um, that's going to open up our little uh, group clips uh, dialog box. And uh, I can select uh, how I want to group them by. Um, and then I can hit OK. And there, here's my uh, grouped uh, my grouped clip. And uh, let, me sh let me show it to you. Uh, there we go. And now you can see all the different clips in my group. And uh, multicam, uh, and how to do multicam and all that, that's for another video. But the keyboard shortcut, select your clips, uh, hold down Command or Shift, Command and Shift, uh, and the G key, and that's uh, how you can group clips together. Our next keyboard shortcut, uh, this is different from duplicating a kept clip. This is uh, copying a clip uh, from one bin to another. Uh, and when we do that, uh, we select a clip, hold down the Option or Alt key, and then uh, click and then drag it into a separate bin. Uh, that makes a copy of the master clip. So uh, when you duplicated, when you hit Command or Control and the D key, I remember that made the dot copy dot one um, version of the clip. So uh, these two are separate master clips. Um, they use the same media. This one uh, by um, selecting a clip, holding Option or Alt, and dragging it, dragging it into a separate bin. Um, that copies a clip, so that uses the exact same master clip um, and the same media file. So I know that's a little confusing um, in the explanation and the whole media management part of this, a little outside of the scope of Mastering Avid Media Composer's keyboard shortcuts. So if you have questions about that, um, I'll try and address that in a later video or a uh, blog post over on the website. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them below, um, and I'll try and explain a little bit more uh, thoroughly there. Okay, uh, next clip. Uh, if we select a column here and we hit Command or Control and the E key, that's going to sort these in ascending order. Um, and if uh, now to sort them by uh, descending order, hit a Command or Control, Option or Alt, and the E key, and that's going to flip uh, how they're uh, sorted. And uh, you can sort any of these columns here. You can even sort uh, by the color. Uh, okay, uh, what is next? Okay, so uh, here we've been in uh, this view the whole time. Uh, I believe it's called the detailed view or the uh, 
yeah, something like that. Uh, if we go over here um, to the frame view or the um, or the icon view, um, if I hold down a command or control and the L key, that's going to make these icons larger. Um, and the same thing here uh, in the, the frame view, uh, hold down command or control, that's going to make these icons larger. Okay, and then to make them smaller, hold down command or control and hit the K key, it's going to make them smaller. And the same thing in here, uh, command or control and hit the K key to make them smaller. Okay, and our last keyboard shortcut, uh, only in our frame view, let's um, mess with these a little bit. Um, is there one hiding? Couple hiding over here. Okay, so let's say uh, we're here in our, our, our frame view, I believe that's what it's called, um, and they're kind of messy. If I want to align these up to a grid, I hold down the command or control and the T key, and that lines them all back up and organizes it for me. Uh, so I think that about wraps it up. I went through a ton of shortcuts here in just a little bit of just a little bit of time. So uh, again, if you have questions, leave them below. Uh, you can, you know, watch this video again. Uh, and uh, just practice these, you know, a couple a day and uh, you really uh, start to get the hang of it. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope you stick around uh, for uh, lesson eight and check that one out as well. Um, and uh, yes, as always, any questions leave them below. If uh, this video helped you, uh, I would really appreciate it if you could give a thumbs up and maybe share it with another editor who uh, you think it could be helpful for. All right, guys, that's it. I will see you in the next video.